To perform thin layer chromatography, TLC, you need the following materials. Development tank or TLC tray with a lid, a measuring cylinder, TLC plate, capillary pipette or micro pipette, filter paper, hair dryer, mobile phase, the sample to be analyzed, a reference solution, UV lamp, pencil, sand, scissors, tweezers. The tank is filled with a liquid to a depth of about one centimeter. A thin layer of sand is added so that the plates lie stably and horizontally. Inside the tank are one or more strips of filter paper. The strips are placed in the solvent to establish a good equilibrium between the liquid and vapor. The lid is placed on the tank and left to stand for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. A very thin line is drawn on the TLC plate 1.5 cm from the bottom edge with a soft pencil. The layer must not be damaged. The corners of the TLC plate are cut so that the solvent will rise uniformly. Dots are drawn on the line and are numbered to be able to identify the samples and the reference solutions. Using a capillary or microlitre pipette, a small amount of sample is applied to the line. After the solvent has evaporated, the sample can be applied one or two more times. A hairdryer can be used to speed up the evaporation of the solvent. A UV lamp can be used to view the sample. To identify the substances in the sample, one or more reference substances can also be applied. The distance between the substances should be about one centimeter. Do not draw the dots too close to the sides. The TLC plate is carefully placed in the tank. When the solvent reaches to one centimeter under the top edge, the plate is removed with a pair of tweezers from the tank. The front of the solvent line is immediately marked with a pencil. This is important in order to determine the RF value. The plate must be dried. You can do this in the air or with a hairdryer. After the separation, the components can be visualized in different ways. The first possibility is irradiating with UV light. Some substances exhibit fluorescence or a dark spot under UV radiation of a certain wavelength. In this method, the plate remains intact. The second possible method is through spraying with the reagent. Through a chemical reaction, the spots become visible. A third possibility is to immerse the entire plate in, for example, potassium permanganate. With the second and third methods, the plate is irreversibly modified and cannot be used again. With a thin pencil line, the circumference of the spots is traced. This is best done with a long pencil so that the skin is not exposed to radiation. From the distances that the substances have traveled up the plate, the RF values can be determined. The RF values of the sample can then be compared with the RF values of the reference substance. The solvent from the development tank is discarded in the waste container. After analysis, the TLC plates can be discarded as solid chemical waste. The capillary tube is thrown away as glass waste.